picking up on number 13. We set these equal, or we set them equal to 24. We solved, we found out that x was 10. They did ask me to find the value of x. They also asked me to find the length of EF. So I'm going to put 10 in place of x here. 2 times 10 minus 10. 20 minus 10 is 10. So EF is 10. Also use the 10 here. 3 times 10 minus 16. 30 minus 16 is 14. So FG is 14. Questions on number 13. Problem 14 says P is the midpoint of FU. What does midpoint mean? It's in the middle. So the stuff on the left and the stuff on the right are equal. So 7x equals 2x plus 25. Subtract 2x from each side. 5x equals 25 x is 5. Find the values of x. We did that. Now find ft. So I'm going to come over here. 7 times 5 is 35. Well, if ft is 35, what's pu? And the whole thing would turn out to be 70. They didn't ask you for that. That's just 15 says MO bisects angle LMN. So it cuts it into two equal angles. The measure of LMO is 6x minus 26. The measure of NMO is 2x plus 34. So those two smaller angles have to be the same size. So we set 6x minus 26 equal to 2x plus 34. And what do we do to solve? Subtract 2x from each side. 4x minus 26 is 34. 4x is equal to 60. Divide by 4. X is 15. So find the value of X. We did. Now find the measure of LMN. That's the whole thing. So I'm going to plug this in. 6 times 15 minus 26. 6 times 15 is 90. Minus 26 is 64. So this angle is 64 degrees. If this angle is 64 degrees, what does this angle have to be? 64 degrees. So all together, angle LMN is 128 degrees. 16. Pretty much the same question. They changed a little bit of it. It tells us that MO bisects LMN. LMN, now this time they're telling me LMN, which is the whole thing, is 6x minus 26. LMO is x plus 31. What's the relationship between the big angle and one of the little angles? Are they the same size? No. It takes two of the little angles to equal the big angle. So it would take two of x plus 31 to equal the big angle, which is 6x minus 26. Then we need to solve that. What do you do first there? 2x plus 62 equals 6x minus 26. Subtract 2x. 62 equals 4x minus 26. Add the 26. 
88 is equal to 4x, divide by 4, x is 22. Did they ask me to find x? No. What did they ask me to find? Well, NMO ought to be the same thing as LMO. So 22 plus 31 is 53 degrees. Any questions on that? Okay, 17. 17 says find the distance between T, which is at 2, 5, and Q, which is at 4, 6. What did you do on this problem? you got to use the distance formula. What does the distance formula say? Uh, X sub 2 minus X sub 1 all squared. Okay. Then you got to label these. This is X sub 1 and Y sub 1. X sub 2 and Y sub 2. And then we plug in. What goes in place of X sub 2? And X sub 1. What goes in place of Y sub 2? And Y sub 1. Okay. The next thing you need to do is subtract. Then you square, and then you add together. Can you take the square root of 5? No, we don't know what the square root of 5 is, so that's our answer. To the nearest tenth, it asks to the nearest tenth, so they do want you to go ahead and put that in your calculator. 2.23, so that's going to round to 2.2. .2. Number 18, find the coordinates of the midpoint. H is at 4, 3, and K is at 2, 13. What's the midpoint formula say? Okay. So this is X sub 1, Y sub 1, X sub 2, Y sub 2 plug in. 4 plus 2 over 2. Y, which is 3, plus Y sub 2, which is 13, over 2. So I have 6 over 2, and 16 over 2, which is 3, 8. That's my midpoint. Any questions on number 18? How many have y'all completed? How many of you have completed all the way to 20? All the way to 30? Did we stop at 20 yesterday? 24, okay. 19. Number 19 says the midpoint is located at 7, 8. Okay, that's M right there. R and S are the segments. S is located at 10, 7. What are the coordinates of R? So here's what we did. R is located at X sub 1, Y sub 1. S is located at 10, 7. And we use the midpoint formula. X sub 1 plus X sub 2 over 2. Y sub 1 plus Y sub 2 over 2. So we're going to take this one. We're going to take x sub 1 and x sub 2. Divide it by 2 and I'm supposed to get 7. Okay? If you added x sub 1 and 10 together and then you divide it by 2, your answer would be 7. So you need to solve it by Multiplying both sides by 2, that tells me that x sub 1 plus 10, when you added them together, had to be what number? What's 
7 times 2? 14. So what does x sub 1 have to be? 4. We're going to do the same thing for y, okay? y sub 1 and y sub 2. If you add them together and divide by 2, you're going to get 8. Now, y'all tell me something. What number divided by 2 is 8? 16. Now, we're going to solve it algebraically, but you've got enough common sense to know that something divided by 2 that equals 8 is really 16. Then you need to subtract 7. Y sub 1 is... Nine. So R is located at four nine. That's number nineteen. Number twenty. Identify the hypothesis and the conclusion of this conditional statement. If tomorrow is Monday, then yesterday was Saturday. Tomorrow is Monday is your hypothesis. Yesterday was Saturday is your conclusion. 21. What is the conclusion of the following conditional? A number is divisible by 2 if the number is even. Where does your hypothesis come? Not always at the beginning, but your hypothesis is always after the word if. So the conclusion in this one is a number is divisible by 2. That is your conclusion. Because this is your hypothesis. Because it follows the if. 22 says the complement of an angle is 47. What's the measure of an angle? What does a complement mean? What does it mean to be complementary? Equals 90 degrees. So 47 plus something equals 90. So what's that? missing number. How many? 43. 23 says angle DFG and angle JKL are complementary. They're complementary. What does that mean, y'all? DFG is X plus 6. JKL is X minus 10. If I add them together, I'm supposed to get 90. So 2X Minus 4 equals 90. Add 4 to each side. 2x is 94. Divided by 2. <coughs> x is 47. If x is 47, then dfg is 47 plus 6 which is 53, and angle JKL is 47 minus 10, which is 37. Did y'all get those? Okay. 24, this will be our last one for today. What do you know about these two angles? What kind are they? Vertical angles. And vertical angles are congruent. So 6x plus 6 equals 7x minus 13. Subtract 6x from each side. 6 equals x minus 13. Add 13. x is 19. Everybody get that? Y'all get that? Okay. My answer key had negative 19. Did I? That's, that must be a typo. Okay. Do y'all have any questions?